Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on quadratic sequences. Now there's going to be two videos on this topic and in this first one we're going to look at finding the nth term of a quadratic sequence when a is equal to 1. So when we get our quadratic sequence nth term it's going to be in the form a n squared plus b n plus c. So a is our coefficient of n squared which in this case is going to be 1. Now there's quite a specific method that we need to use here so let's run through it uh, starting with this example. So we have to find the nth term formula of the following quadratic sequence and our sequence is 2, 9, 18, 29 and 42. So the first thing I'm going to do is just rewrite this a bit larger. We've got 2, 9, 18, 29 and 42. So what we have to do first of all is find the difference between each of these terms. So the difference between 2 and 9 is 7, so we've got plus 7. Then from 9 to 18 is plus 9. From 18 to 29 is plus 11 and from 29 to 42 is plus 13. Next what we have to do is find the difference between the differences uh, because obviously we've not got a, a constant difference here so we need to find what's called the secondary differences uh, between each of these differences. So from plus 7 to plus 9 we've got a secondary dif uh, this, excuse me, secondary difference of plus 2. From plus 9 to plus 11 we have a secondary difference of plus 2 again and from 11 to 13 we've got another secondary difference of plus 2. So this is the point at which we can work out what the value of a is going to be. So we just take the secondary difference, so a is going to be the secondary difference which here is 2 and we divide this by 2, uh, so here we're going to get 1. So we spoiled the fun a bit earlier, uh, but this is the method you use to work out the value of a. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a table. So in the table I like to put the values of n first of all, so we've got 5 terms in this sequence. So the values of n are going to be 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And then underneath this I'm going to write n squared. So this is going to be 1 because that's 1 squared which is 1. 2 squared is 4. 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16. And 5 squared is 25. Then underneath this line for n squared we're going to write the values of un. Now un is our original sequence. So this is the 2, 9, 18, 29 and 42. The 2, 9, 18. 29 and 42 and then finally under this we're going to write un minus n squared so this is the uh, terms of the original sequence minus n squared so this is going to be 2 minus 1 which is uh, 1 9 minus 4 which is 5 18 minus 9 which is 9 and 29 minus 16 is 13 and 42 minus 25 is 17 so the bottom line of this table now is a linear sequence and we can work out the nth term of this linear sequence. So uh, let's first of all look at the difference between each of the terms. So from 1 to 5, we've got a difference of plus 4. From 5 to 9, we have a difference of plus 4. From 9 to 13, we have a difference of plus 4. And again, for 13 to 17. So our nth term of this linear sequence is going to be 4n plus something or 4n minus something. Uh, and now to work out what that plus or minus is going to be, uh, we compare what our sequence here uh, to the series 4n. The series 4n is going to be 4, 8, 12, 16 and uh, 20. So the difference between the terms in 4n and un minus n squared, uh, well un minus n squared has a value which is 3 less than 4n, so our nth term is going to be 4n minus 3. So that's the nth term of the sequence un minus n squared. Now all we have to do to find the nth term of the original sequence, so that's this one here, is combine the value of a that we uh, established originally with this new nth term formula that we got down here. So our nth term uh, of the quadratic sequence is going to be a n squared, so that's just n squared, uh, and then the b n plus c part is what we've just found here. So our nth term is going to be n squared plus 4n minus 3. Quadratic sequences are a skill that takes some practice, so you can do so with our online exam. This is available through our revision platform, and if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, all of which you'll receive instant feedback on, so you can keep track of where you're going wrong and find out how to improve in time for your actual exam. So if you're interested, you can take the test by clicking the link below.